Hi, Campbell here from Breath Body Therapy. Welcome to this short video on a breath warm up. So, this practice is really useful before performing a breath practice, such as the Wim Hof method or other forms of breath work. Um, just like you would warm up to go and perform any physical activity, it's important and can en enhance the practice by warming up the anatomy and the muscles involved in respiration. So what we're gonna look at today is basically top down, starting relaxing the muscles around the neck and the throat, mobilizing the thoracic spine, and mobilizing and stretching the diaphragm, okay, our most important respiratory muscle. And the reason we're doing this is we want to remove tension from the accessory respiratory muscles, so we don't wanna be breathing with the neck or the throat. We wanna create space in the thoracic cage to allow an expansion and relaxation. And we also want to increase the proprioception of our diaphragm. And what that really means is ensuring your brain knows which part of your body you're trying to breathe with. Okay, so by creating a little bit of a mobilization to the diaphragm, we're more likely to breathe with the diaphragm rather than the intercostal muscles or the accessory muscles. So throughout this practice, respect your body. Okay, we don't push past any pain. Um, we're just looking to take range of motion to the point of tension rather than pain. And we also wanna try and connect with the breath. So don't allow your mind to go one way, your breath to go one way, and the movement of the practice. Okay, try and unify these three parts, okay? Try and feel into the stretch, try and breathe into the stretch so that we're keeping all of those connected. So just come to a sitting position, however you're most comfortable. And we're going to start with the neck, okay? So just gently dropping the chin down to the chest and then taking the left ear towards the left shoulder. And we're gonna to begin to draw a really big circle. So extending the neck, looking up, bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder and then slowly coming back down chin to chest. Continuing that circle and really now connecting with the breath. Breathing with the nose. Slowing things down and trying to feel into the stretch. So you're probably noticing on either side of the neck, feeling some tension. If you find a point that maybe feels a little bit tight, I want you to stop there and breathe in. And use the exhale to see if we can just soften that point. Okay, and then continuing on that circle. We'll then begin to move back in the other direction. So right ear, right shoulder, coming to look up. Left ear, left shoulder, bringing chin back down to chest. So nice, slow circles and trying to just feel your way through this mobilization. And we'll come back to our neutral point. So just looking forward, we're gonna sit on the left hand and this is to anchor down the left shoulder. And then just take the right ear again towards the right shoulder. Okay, if this is enough for you, just remain there and try and breathe into the space on the left side of the neck. If you're wanting to take the stretch a little bit further, just using the weight of the hand. Okay, I'm not pulling on the head, but just gently resting on the head to provide a little bit more of a stretch to the left side of the neck. So consciously really try and breathe into this space, using the exhale to try and let go. So two breaths here. And then just easing our way back. And again, now we'll sit on the right hand, anchoring down the right shoulder. Gently drop left ear towards left shoulder. If this is enough for you, just stay here and breathe. And if you want a little bit of an additional stretch, just the weight of the hand, gently drawing left ear down towards left shoulder. Find that point of tension in the neck and try and breathe into that space. Two breaths. Using the exhale, just to try and let go. And 
and then just gently coming back to our neutral point. Just give the shoulders a bit of a shrug, loosening off the traps. And then we're just gonna move into the thoracic spine. So rotation is really important, okay? And we're gonna allow the thoracic cavity to rotate the space between the ribs to move. So I'm just gonna bring left hand onto right knee, right hand onto the ground behind, and gently, we're just gonna to begin to twist and wind, okay? Meet that first point of resistance. And then we're gonna use a nice big inhale to grow tall. On the exhale, just winding around the corner. So use the inhale to grow tall, lifting each rib off the lowers and then winding. Take one more breath, growing tall. And exhale to rotate just as far as comfortable. Coming back on an inhale. And then taking right hand, left knee, left hand behind. Find that point of resistance. Use the inhale to grow tall. And the exhale just to gently twist. Inhale, we grow tall. And exhale, we just wind a little bit further. Keep the head stacked over the shoulders and the spine. Final breath in. Exhale to wind. And coming back on an inhale. Now, just take up a little bit of that space. So let the arms go nice and soft and just twist, wind. Just creating space, getting that rotation nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna come down to the diaphragm. So just placing fingers on the sternum and just walk down until we find that point at the base of the sternum where the two halves of the rib cage meet. Okay, so this border of the rib cage is where a part of the diaphragm attaches. And we're just gonna give that a little bit of a massage. So following the border of the rib cage and just pushing up and under gently, but really just trying to massage the tissue. Okay, we should have sliding surfaces. And I just want you to get in contact with the diaphragm, right? Give all of that a little bit of a rub, working right out towards the hips where we meet the floating ribs and all the way back up to the center, okay? If you're finding this quite uncomfortable, it's probably an indication that the diaphragm's a little bit tight. This is a great practice, a minute or two every day, just to try and mobilize and loosen the diaphragm. Now, we're actually gonna give the diaphragm a little bit of a stretch, okay? So laying down onto the back, And with this movement, we're gonna use our breath and the position of the rib cage and the pelvis to apply a little bit of a stretch to the diaphragm. So what I'm gonna do is on an inhale, okay, I'm gonna lift the hips and the arms. I'm gonna let the air go on an exhale. Now I'm gonna hold the breath, but imagine I'm drawing the air in. So I'm gonna pull up through the rib cage and feel that gentle lift through the belly and the diaphragm. Just gonna hold there for about five seconds. So drawing the rib cage up as if we're sucking up from the belly and the diaphragm. And then exhale, we come back down. So once more, big breath in, lifting the hips and the shoulders. We let the exhale go. Now I stop and hold the breath, but I try and draw upwards as if I'm breathing in. So you'll pull up from the belly and the diaphragm. And then we'll just gently let the air go. One more time, breathing in, lifting. Letting go. And then pulling up from the chest.
and then dropping the hips and just let your natural breath come back. Now we'll come back to a sitting position and then we just want to take up all of the space that we've created. So we're going to completely empty the lungs and then we're going to take the biggest breath that we can. Okay. But allow the air to do most of the work. Okay. So let your breath be slow. Let it be mindful. But imagine as you breathe in, the rib cage expands, the chest rises, even the shoulders. So we're taking this big expansive breath and stretching or creating space from the pelvis all the way up to the shoulders. And then we're going to gently empty all that air out. Okay. So from this starting point, we just begin to push the air out. Gently squeezing the belly, rounding over until we're empty. Just take a moment there and then allow the breath to begin to come in from the base of the belly. Start to extend the spine, expand through the ribs, the chest, until we're completely full. Hold for a moment and feel that stretch and then begin letting it go as we start to push, squeezing the belly, collapsing down until we're empty. And then again, let that slow, expansive breath in. Feel the breath rise all the way up into the throat. Hold, feel that stretch, and then with a big sigh, letting it go. And so you're now ready to begin whichever breath practice you choose. Okay, you've warmed up your breathing muscles, your thoracic spine, and you've created space for that breath to move in and out without too much effort. Thanks for joining.